Hello, so it looks like you've come to the right place. This is a presentation about comma splices from the Alabama A&M University Writing Center. So what is a comma splice? Comma splices occur when there is a comma placed in between two independent clauses. Here are some examples. There are a couple ways to fix comma splices. The writer can include another form of punctuation or even a connecting word. The previous slide mentioned that adding another form of punctuation could correct a comma splice, so it's important to look at the use of semicolons. In the case of the first sentence, a semicolon could be placed after Scholar identifying that this is the end of the first independent clause. Before we have, Tara is a merit scholar. She has a 4.0 grade point average. After we have, Tara is a merit scholar, semicolon, she has a 4.0 grade point average. The use of a semicolon is appropriate in this sentence because the first independent clause leads to the next. Another way to revise a comma splice is by simply splitting the two sentences. This gives us the next form of punctuation, which is a period. So before we have Tony is a football player, comma, he is also good at baseball. And after we have Tony is a football player, period, he is also good at baseball. Splitting these two sentences is helpful because they both have a different main idea. In the case of the third sentence, a coordinating conjunction can be used to merge two thoughts. The coordinating conjunctions are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, or fanboys. So before we have Jason purchased a new car, he loves to drive his old car. In the case of this sentence, we wouldn't use a semicolon because when using a semicolon, the first independent clause leads to the second. So after we're going to add a coordinated conjunction and a comma. So Jason purchased a new car, comma, but he loves to drive his old car. So this sentence shows some contrast. And so it's important to use a coordinated conjunction that also shows that contrast. That's all we have for comma splices. If you need a little more assistance, check out some of our resources on the website. And if you want a little more interaction, send us an email, give us a call, or even stop by at the right place. Thank you for watching.